more people working from home. Online sales, well, they've been booming. Many of us have been sitting around looking at our things and said, hey, I don't need this anymore, so we're putting it up for sale. Well, the Better Business Bureau says selling things online is a great way to make some extra cash, but they say also use caution. Take a listen to what they have to say. We're joined by Whitney Quick, the Regional Director for the Better Business Bureau. And Whitney, we've all been sitting at home. We've been looking around our houses going, hmm, maybe I don't really need that. But maybe I should sell that. And a lot of folks are doing that. A lot of people are selling online. And you guys have some tips for people that are considering that, right? Oh, yeah. I've done it. I've done it the whole time. I'm tired of my stuff. I'm sure a lot of other people are, too. So I have. Exactly. <laughs> I am really tired of looking at my things. I've been inside since March 17th. <laughs> Um, but what we are seeing is um, kind of a spike in the online scams um, that have to do with fake checks. So what happens is you try to sell something on Craigslist or eBay or if you're selling clothes like Poshmark, um, offer up anything like that, and you get contacted by somebody. Um, here's how the scam works. So first of all, they're going to ask you to move off of the platform to talk to them on a private space. Um, that's your biggest red flag right there because once you move off the platform, that opens you up to be able to get scammed. Uh, whereas if you stay on eBay or if you stay on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, um, they do have it set up to where they can help you not be scammed. So make sure that you don't leave the platform that you're working on. Um, another thing is they tell you that they're going to send you a check or overnight a check. Um, a lot of times these checks are written over the amount for what the product is actually worth. And then they want you to sell or send them back the money that they over sent you. So that right there is a huge red flag. So you send them back the money and then a couple weeks later that check bounces in your bank account. So then you're out that money. So you want to make sure that you're really avoiding um, buyers who want to communicate with you outside of the platform that you're using and don't use checks or money orders. Um, there are several things that you could be using right now online such as PayPal, Venmo, um, Google Pay, a whole lot of different things, but um, checks and money orders are easy to um, make fraudulent, and they're sometimes really hard to tell whether or not they are real. So that is a really good thing to keep in mind. So kind of a rule of thumb right there, keep everything on the platform you started selling on, whether it's Facebook, eBay, etc. Do all of your dealings through there to avoid being scammed. Exactly. And then also make sure that you're staying safe. So if you are meeting somebody to sell this, um, again, keep social distancing in mind, meet at a safe place, wear a mask and um, bring somebody with you if you feel uncomfortable. Always good advice. Appreciate you joining us this morning. We'll have this up on our website as well, WSILTV.com.